Hi everybody, Kevin Muldoon Live Car Shows. We're out here at the 22nd Annual Westlake Village Car Show and we got about 250 cars to look at today. Thought we'd start with a gorgeous looking 67 442 Oldsmobile here. Just all original condition, convertible, original $4,216 car. I don't think you could touch a wheel for that right now. We got about another 150 cars at the show today. Looks like a really good show. Let's go look at some cars. You're looking at a very clean original 1970 Chevelle SS 396 Turbojet. Now I had to tear Steve away from this car. This is one of his favorites when we go to the car shows and he'd take this one home in a second. Black interior, four speed, really, really nice 70 Chevelle. And next to it, we've seen this car before. It's a 1962 Chevy Impala, heavily modified. It's got an engine that really kicks ass in that hood. And then at the end here, we got a real nice Cougar XR7. It's got a built engine in it, Hawaii Racing, custom paint. Really nice, really nice Cougar. Well, the cars are still pulling in here at the Westlake Village Car Show, and this is the bad news, man. Service Center Speed Shop, period correct gasser. In fact, it's an X gasser. That's a real deal car there, folks. Really nice. Willie's connection. Very cool. The rare and unusual is what we like to bring you here on live car shows, and this one is one of 22, but it's really one of one, because Casey Atwood and Jeff Gordon drove this car in the parade lap out at the 2001 California Speedway. And what's neat about this car, Jeff signed the bill sheet, it's got a Corvette engine in it, and it was in the parade lap. There's a great picture of all these cars lined up out there at the California Speedway. Now, the owner was telling me he took his uh, solstice in for some service, and this thing was sitting in the dealer's showroom. And after he read the history and saw the numbers on it, he just had to take it home. And I think he says it's only got about 9,000 miles on it. He drives it, takes it to the car shows, but this is really, really a neat Pontiac. I'll tell you, one of one in my book. <laughs> Thanks a lot. You know, this is the car we started uh, the show with today, and I want to take a second look at it. You know, it's a 1967 442 Oldsmobile. I'm going to read you about this car. This vehicle was purchased at a garage sale in 1985 for $900 in Atlanta, Georgia. And then they decided to leave it in the garage, and they started restoring it in 2004. And it says he spent two years on eBay looking for the parts and everything to make this an exact correct restoration of this good-looking Oldsmobile 67 442. Um, like I say, the restoration's been done to where it just looks like it's not over-restored. It's, it's very, very, very period correct like it came out of the showroom floor. Very nice 442. Hey, you're looking at Mike Brindle's 1969 Mustang 428. Now, this is an original car, but it's a tribute to cruising on Van Nuys Boulevard, and it appeared in the Mustangs and Ford magazine back in 2005. A lot of the cars we see at the car shows have magazine articles about them. People really take pride in their cars, and when they're out doing shows like this, the magazines take notice. We've got another real nice Mustang next to it. It's got a Cobra by Ford engine underneath. Another original California black and yellow plate car. Always love orange and Mustang. And this one's classic American car built July 6, 1964. Beautiful cream interior. Another really, really nice modified. Deep black paint. Highly chromed engine. Big Edelbrock manifold on it. MSD ignition. Very neat car. And this Mustang here, well, we're going to talk to the owner in a second. So Steve's going to move on down the road. We're going to have the owner tell us about this one. Really nice souped up Mustang. Well, I told you we were going to talk to the owner of the 66 Mustang. The owner here is Rick. Rick, tell me about your car. Well, it's uh, had it for about seven years now. At one time, it was just blue with a uh, six-cylinder in it, C4, and actually my daughter drove it. Oh, really? It was your daughter's car? Yeah, it was, uh, but it always broke down. I mean, it was just like, you know... It was transportation, but it wasn't reliable transportation. Reliable, no air conditioning, not like that. So I uh, bought her a new car, and I just redid this and uh, got it at it. Six owner and put the uh, 302 in it, five speed, nice rear end, and uh, $26,000 later for now. <laughs> <laughs> so you did this yourself? Did it all myself, other than the paint job. You know, uh, all the labor was uh, myself, but uh, put a paint job together on it, and uh, the car comes to life, you know. No, it really is one of the better looking ones out here today. I love the red, I love the silver stripes, and uh, 
What kind of horsepower did you get out of this engine after you stuffed it in there? It's just about 350. Uh, just about. Just about, yeah. I mean, I got some other modifications to do to it, but uh, it'll, it'll go up maybe about 400 horsepower when I'm done, you know. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate it. I mean, it's a nice-looking car. I got the nostalgic look kind of still to it. I didn't want to go too modified for a 66 because it's not a Shelby. It's just a coupe. Right. So I just wanted to kind of keep it original. Uh, very pleased with it, though. You know, it's just... Uh, well, it's one of the better-looking cars out here today, Rick. Thanks for talking to us, man. Check us out on live car shows. We enjoy talking to you. I'll do that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, this is one of those back row cars, and unless you see the whole car show, you're going to miss it. This is a 1965 Volkswagen Station Wagon Deluxe, and I can't even count how many windows are in this version of this Volkswagen, but this is a really nice, correct, restored Volkswagen with the windows and the safari rack and you see Steve's coming out of the full back top. And as he comes around, you'll look at the classic lines of this uh, Volkswagen. It's got the pop-out front window. It's got the uh, headlight uh, eyebrows on it. And a classic VW chrome stripe down the front. Uh, this is something I don't think you're going to see at many car shows. Really nice example. Well, we're going to go from an originally stock Volkswagen to this really nice modified 1960 bug. It's got the tan rollback top, really neat ghost flames on it, but it's kind of a high-tech ghost flames, really nice interior. Next to it, we got a real clean 1967 bug, Beetle, I guess. A couple of nice Volkswagens back here in the back row. Live Car Shows is coming to you from the 22nd Annual Westlake Village Auto Show, and uh, the sponsors are the Thousand Oaks Westlake Village Regional Chamber of Commerce. They're bringing you this great event this weekend, and like I say, the 22nd, so every year you can plan on Westlake Village having a car show out here. This nice Chevrolet here, huge high-rise manifold, giant big block in it. Heard someone say it's just a, it's an automatic 65 Chevelle. Nice Roadrunner, too. Nice row of GM muscle here. I'm standing between two neat cars. This one's a highly modified 69 Camaro. It's got the Edelbrock high-rise manifold, double pumper carb, custom paint, convertible, really nice. But then next to it here is a real nice 67 Firebird 400. It's been restored to original condition. It's a convertible with the cream interior. Steve's got a great shot of the engine right now. Beautiful stock condition, air conditioning on that car. And next to it is, once again, another heavily modified Camaro. Big block, high-rise manifold, convertible, and it's got a custom interior, an updated interior. This is really a good-looking custom Camaro.